ABC Action News is committed to keeping you informed this election year. And as a part of our campaign, we're offering candidates in the major races five minutes to talk about the issues. Here's Brendan with tonight's Democracy 2010 profile. I'm here now with Lorraine Osley. She is the Democratic candidate for chief financial officer facing Republican Jeff Atwater in the general election November 2nd. Thank you, Ms. Osley, for being with us on Democracy 2010. Thank you. Uh, the CFO's responsibility involves uh, paying the state's bills, collecting accounts receivable for the state, and keeping track of, of some of the agencies uh, under the control of the state. Why are you running in, in, a, in a brief uh, synopsis. Well, I'm a, I'm a former legislator, I'm a lawyer, and I've seen enough of what's going on in Tallahassee, in Tallahassee and know that we need someone uh, to clean it up. There is a mess that is, you know, we've got to hold legislators accountable, and the CFO's job to me is the fiscal watchdog, right. and uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, Alex Sink, who is the current CFO and gubernatorial candidate, uh, the Democratic nominee, uh, appointed you to, uh, to a commission, the Healthy Kids right. uh, Board. Uh, I assume you're on good terms. But what you just said sort of implies that uh, that her oversight has been lacking uh, during no, her term. No, Alex has been there just for four years, and she has done a great job of changing what, trans basically transitioning what was sort of a passive treasurer's office into this fiscal watchdog. Um, she's done a lot, you know, together we audited the well care uh, situation who was overbilling the state of Florida in the Healthy Kids um, program, and, and, you know, as a result, we've gotten $8 million that they self-reported and $2 million beyond that. Uh, there are a, a number of instances, the Taj Mahal, I don't know if you followed that, this $48 million sure. court building in mm -hmm. Tallahassee. Um, she's using the auditing functions of that office to, uh, to get to the bottom of that. And I, I, I want to build on that and, um, and, and keep making sure that we're shining a light on what's happened in Tallahassee. Um, we encourage you to use this time to talk about yourself rather than your opponent, so on, but, to, but you have spent a great deal of time associating your opponent with some of this, uh, what you consider to be malfeasance in Tallahassee on the part of the legislature. Um, what it, additionally, could the CFO, CFO do to address some of those issues that are, are really part of the legislative function? Well, you know, my opponent is the president of the Senate, and he has been in charge of, of the legislature for the last two years and in leadership. Um, and, and there has been a lot of, you know, we've taxes have been raised $2 billion in the last two years. Um, and, and there are a number of these these you know, acts of the, the, the Taj Mahal, the $110 million prison. Um, to me, it is important that the CFO use the, the office um, to shine a light again on what's going on in, in the legislature, to be that stopgap for the spending that's happening, um, and, and to really encourage, you know, demand that the legislature think about what we're doing to the state and how we are investing in the next generation. Mm -hmm. uh, as CFO, though, you would have some oversight on uh, vendors, uh, people Absolutely. that do business with the state, and your concern is what that's that these vendors uh, simultaneously make contributions to campaigns uh, and you want you want that disclosed in a sort of an yes, easy to there, access way there is anyone who's been around Tallahassee knows and it's my hometown so I know um, there is a pay-to-play culture that is that is very pervasive and it, it is Explain what um, that is. well there there are there are lobbyists that are and, and and folks that are making money off the system there are we, we have a, a contracting process that that has no checks and balances um, I filed a bill five of eight years that would have um, created a cost-benefit analysis if we're going to outsource or privatize a state function we need to know that we're going to get a better deal for it that for our taxpayer dollars and that is not happening and I can give you um, many examples in Tallahassee of contracts that are actually you know they're not they're not bringing the intended savings they're not providing the services that, that we expect and it's and it is a waste of taxpayer dollars. You would sit on the you would be one of the the uh, members of the state board of administration one of the uh, the, the trustees um, they have come under criticism for making uh, uh, investments uh, taking public money essentially from local governments and investing them in in the risky mortgage derived securities that have caused so much problem wreak so much havoc with our economy um, and there could be a lot of money lost for local governments as a result of that. Um, Again, this happened under uh, Alex Sink's uh, oversight. Uh, who, who do you hold accountable for that? What would you do to prevent that in the future? Well, and I, it's, it's important to understand that the State Board of Administration is a, um, an independent body that the, the, the governor, the attorney general, and the CFO serve as trustees right. to that. Um, and that, you know, the, the investment expertise is in the, in, the, in the professional body, in the d director of the staff, and the, and the 162 investment managers. Um, there were, you know, we have a new director since, the, um, since we've, there's troubles 
over at the SBA, and I believe that their investment um, strategies have been have been tightened and have been um, there. There been okay. it's been closed up. Very good. I'm sorry I have to cut you off there. That's our five minutes. Thank you. Loren Osley is uh, the Democratic candidate for Chief Financial Officer for the state of Florida in the general election. That is November 2nd. Back to you.